And a warm welcome to Turf Ball for this semi-final of the Capital One Cup between Burnley and Sunderland. Cup tie football all the way now. The first leg with the second leg to come and the stadium of light. The other semi-final is being played tomorrow between Leicester City and Manchester City. But it's tonight's semi-final we concentrate on here. Between Burnley, who are taking the Premier League by storm, and Sunderland, who are currently mid-table at the moment in the Premier League, towards the other end of the table in the bottom half, but not in too much danger of being sucked into a relegation dogfight. They do have a very good side there. And must have to reach a cup semi-final of this magnitude. Burley team remain unchanged from that 1-1 draw with Leicester in the FA Cup. Obviously, their new signing, uh, Harry Kane, is still sidelined for another three or four weeks. And the Sunderland Army of supporters, there's 4,000 of them there tonight. And this is the lineup that they've learned from Castel Palantelli. One is the good goal, six foot seven goalkeeper that Burley will have to beat. Connor Wickham and Alvarez are the men up front. Cadabo and Woodwell will obviously add still to that midfield. And it's a back five there, which includes Quatez Brown and Van Eynacht and there's a former Sunderland player John O'Shea up against his old club just one of the many ingredients that this semi-final has to offer two games away from a place at Wembley the referee tonight Mike Dean from Merseyside and it's going to be Sunderland now to get it underway the first leg remember this game play, this semi-final being played over two legs on a home and away basis. For those of you who aren't familiar with the rules of the, the League Cup semi-final, that's how it is. League Cup league, home and away basis over two legs. They decide who will go to Wembley at the at the end of February, early March. Away we go then, Sunderland in the stripes. Get us up and underway. Burnley looking to get to the League Cup final for the first time in their history they almost did it five years ago when they beat Spurs here and already Sunderland on the front foot and Gangarini forcing the first save in the game from Tom Heaton well Burnley there starting a little sluggishly there away goals incidentally will not count if it is a draw the, the away goals would not count until after extra time in the second leg so, for instance, if Sunderland were to get two away goals, for example, and Burnley were to get one away goal and score one here, and we still have extra time in the second leg. The away goals will not count. Double until after extra time. But there's a long way to go yet. And there's still at least a good two to three hours football in front of us before even we can consider... A extra half an hour. And this, a compelling cup time would might well be in for now. With 10 minutes gone in the first leg. Here's Jones. Boyd. Patient build up again by the Claris. Not uh, rushing into anything. But then as soon as I say that they give the ball away. But Jones, uh, Hughes Robert has got it back. Plenty waited in the middle. Oh, and a chance and a just gone wide from Danny Ings well he missed that chance against Leicester inexplicably when he was one on one with uh, Swansea well it was a harder chance this time he did everything right he beat Pantelemon he beat everything but also he beat the far post and that's Pantelemon's kick well bounces in the air and it's fallen for Wickham and it's broken three here, a chance now for Sunderland. And good defensive work again. Tom Eaton there. Well, he's had to make an early save there. Gangarini, the man. He tried to beat at the near post. Alvarez with the corner. Alvarez then with the corner. Plenty up in uh, when and black stripes. Here comes the corner, headed on. Went it away once again, but Sunderland have it. The towers are flying in now. Danny Ings now takes possession. 
Missed by two Sunderland defenders and he's beaten them both. He's one on one with the big six foot seven Pantaleon on. He makes the save. And I have to say, he used his frame to dramatic effect there, Pantelimon. Because Danny Ings had gone right through, racing through, and in fact, he might have hit him in the face. And that was a brave bit of goalkeeping in that case. So a corner then to be taken by George Boy. Plenty forward this time in Clarendon Blue. Corner comes in, that should be the six foot seven Pantelimons, and indeed it is. All in yellow tonight. Really cold evening here in Lancashire that's a good ball Tom to folks just things waiting in the middle and it's towards Danny Ings and he almost got the header in well that would have uh, put the cat amongst the pigeons as it were past the halfway mark of the first half and still we await the first goal now Boyd Lost out. And this could be trouble here for Burnley. Jones is not backing far enough and now this could be a trouble here. And a goal for Sunderland. Well this was not in the script from Burnley's point of view. Van Hoynalt. The left back has given Sunderland the lead. And turf ball all of a sudden he's silent by 4,000 travelling Black Cat supporters. Well, Burnley are stunned. And Sunderland there have a priceless away goal, and the goalkeeper's been nutmegged. We have a surprise potentially here in this League Cup semi final. Sunderland one up. And Pantelimon, who saved superbly at one end, cheers a goal from Patrick Van Arnold at the other end. 31 minutes gone in the first leg. It's 1 0 to Sunderland. Well, Burnley were odds on favourites to get the first one tonight, but it's not gone that way. It's not going to cut into what the bookmakers would have thought. Here's Boyd, a little chip in there. Oh, and almost an own goal. Oh. Well, too much for too close for comfort there as we see the Van Hoynut goal again from behind the goal. In fact, it's a goal kick. Or has it, or has it been given as a foul there? Well, if it has been given as a foul, it was a harsh decision. Shackle. New support and Shackle may have to go around the outside here. What's his crossing like? Not a bad one. Just a little too high for Danny Ings. Cantley will pick up the loose ball though. Played in there towards Ings once again. And Ings is offside there. And it's been a frustrating first half for Burnley. That big six foot seven Pantelimon is simply frustrated him on more than one occasion so far and then the Van Hynock goal has sort of Rob soon it's only to a wound but here's things uh, Robert Folks now charging forward Folks now 1-1 one, one. Birmingham level and Sam Folks who got a superb hat trick at Newcastle in the league game there a couple of weeks ago well, he's got another one now. He's got an important one here. And he scored against Leicester, of course, in the, in the FA Cup. Well, I make that now five in three competitive games, League and Cup. And that's his fourth in the League Cup this season. My goodness me, Burnley are back in the League Cup again. Well, they've had to fight well through the... Had to fight so hard to get through those opening rounds to get all the way here to the semi-finals here Burnley so really their run their path through to the semi-final has not been an easy one but wait a moment here's Wickham at the other end a good tackle there now is a chance for Boyd now is there a late late show in the off in here for Burnley at the end of the first half will be the last attack surely in the first half as Ings runs at the centre of defence Ings might go all the way! Good save by Pantelimon. 
Well, I thought it was going to be a terrific, amazing run by Danny Ings there. But the whistle's gone for half time anyway. Van Hoenart got the goal for Sunderland after 31 minutes, but Burnley have got back into it. With that man there, Sam Vokes, and we have a half time situation of Burnley 1, Sunderland 1. No changes. Welcome back, everybody. No changes from either side as referee Dean prepares to get his second half underway. Burley kicking off, attacking the Jimmy McElroy end away to our left. Burley, uh, Sunderland attacking the goal to our right, where 4,000 fanatical Sunderland supporters are based. Jones, Kitely, Ings. 1-1, one, one. Sunderland have a priceless away goal to their name. Hughes, Kitely, Shackle, O'Shea, David Trippier. I haven't lost the turf more this season, but I mean, any competition, which is a testament to them uh, as a side. Looking to bring James Wall Prowse into the midfield area. Trying to get Danny Ings on a long term contract. He's contracts up at the end of the season. Here he is on, now on the ball. It won't go for a corner. The ball will, will stop a little bit short there. Can't be very strongly now. Can he keep the ball in? No. A goal kick has been given. A substitution of the evening. And it is of a Sunderland persuasion. Danny Graham on for Connor Wicket. So we'll change him up front, but here's Van Bokes at the other end. Oh, and he's missed it. He's missed it. Well, Pantelemon made it difficult for him, in fairness. Could have squared it the wings, he might have had an open goal. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. And this semi final still on a knife edge. Of course, they've got that second leg to come up at the stadium of light, and what an occasion that will prove to be. Here's Kankley now for the Clarets. And there's a chance there, but it's knocked away. Boyd. Good running by Boyd. Tremendous running by Boyd, and a superb goal by Boyd! And Burnley lead for the first time in the semi-final! Well, it's been turned on its head. Sunderland were in front. Now Burnley have come back and lead by two goals to one, and Pantelemon never even moved. What a tremendous first leg of cup side semi final football we've seen here tonight. And it's George Boyd. And the first goal he scored in the competition this season. And he waits until 66 minutes of the first leg of the semi final to do it. And David Jones has picked up a knock. There may have to be a substitution here. And they need to get the reinforcements in Burnley because they haven't so far really struck with the side. But here's Ings now. Can he wrap this up now? And make it 3 1. No, Pantelemon is safe for now. Jones is in there. And he's still half injured, but he's carrying on. Folks. Folks with the shot. And it just cleared the crossbar. Tremendous effort there by Sam Folks. Pantelemon might, might have been struggling there. Well, a tremendous cup semi final. 
That's hit the heights we all hoped it would be. Hughes. Offside. I know why didn't the referee blow up for it earlier. So, 12 minutes on the first leg to go. And I would still say that the game is evenly poised, even at 2 1 above. It's still a slender first leg lead. A third one would surely give them a little cushion to go back to the stadium of light with for the away game. Although Sunderland do have that away goal well and truly in the bag. So you'd have to feel that uh, Burnley would need to score away from home in the second leg just, just to make absolutely sure. And the away goals rule could not be applied for Sunderland. And they still need to do some defending at turf four here first. They have five minutes to go. And here's Vokes now charging through the middle. Some Vokes now for Burnley. And Danny Ings couldn't keep up with the play. And Lawson on for Brown. As Sunderland now look to try and get themselves a second equaliser. What a good header that was by Jensen Shackle. He's prepared to go the whole hog to take it, take everything there. And a good header! And a super flying save by Tom Eaton. And he bowls it straight out of David Jones. In the four added minutes and Jones has been all to the ground but he's allowed to be... And Sunderland allowed to get away with it. Well, 2-1 is a slender lead to take up to the stadium of light. And that's what it's going to be. Burnley trailed. Two a goal by Van Harnot, but Bokes and George Boyd have scored for Burnley and they take a two goals to one lead back up to the Stadium of Life for the second leg. From all of us here, goodbye.